Friday afternoon, we sent out another press release. We had a fourth person that's been arrested in connection with the rioting. Uh, this one, same charges as the others, aggravated assault on law enforcement, riot, and refusal to dispute, di sorry, refusal to disperse from unlawful assembly. This warrant actually uh, on this person carried two additional counts of uh, simple assault. And this person is uh, Christelle Youngbear. She is 21 from Sioux Falls. She was arrested yesterday without incident. Uh, the two additional charges, I think everybody knows the whole backstory to this, but the two additional charges were uh, there were other people in the crowd uh, that were trying to stop her from throwing rocks. And she started threatening them. Uh, one of them, I think there may have been a little bit of physical, some pushing, something like that, but she threatened with that. So that's why we have the two uh, additional counts for simple assault. The warrant also carries a 25000 cash bond, the same as the other warrants as well. Um, as far as identifying the other people, we're making good progress on that. We did have uh, one of the pictures, actually two different pictures that we think is the same person. Uh, the ones that were labeled, it was A1 and A11. Uh, we found out or identified that that was a juvenile, so those pictures have been taken down from uh, our social media posts. Uh, I don't have any details on uh, if there was an arrest or charges with that. Um, I think that's it. We're still, like I said, we're still making progress. We're still getting tips that have come in. Uh, the tips that have been coming in are overwhelming. Uh, it's both through social media and from Crime Stoppers. We've been getting a lot of support from the public, which has made it a lot easier to find these people. And obviously, we've been getting warrants and, and getting these people arrested. Um, on the log, I really don't have much. The aggravated assault, that was uh, a person at a group center bit another person. Uh, no serious injuries with that. The assault was a simple assault. The burglaries, we had a couple of garages that were entered, and the other was uh, business had some tools taken. The disorderly conducts and subjects, those ended up being reports. Uh, a few disorderly phone calls in there, um, a stalking report. Uh, really nothing big. The family offenses had a couple of protection order violations, another was a report. The frauds, we had ID thefts and credit cards. The larcenies, a few shopliftings, few unlocked cars, um, nothing real big from those. The narcotics were marijuana and meth. Sex offenses are both reports. The simple assaults are all domestics. And the vandalisms, we had some graffiti, uh, a couple of them. We had two different parks at uh, Spencer Park and Yankton Trail Park, there was graffiti that was found on a bridge and then on some signs that was uh, basically anti-police, but parks were notified they were going to get it removed. Um, that's pretty much all I have. Anything when did the graffiti take place in the parks? It was found yesterday afternoon. Yesterday. Yep. So I'm not sure exactly, probably sometime the day before, or so sometime maybe overnight that it was... I guess somebody put it there. And you said Spencer and Yankton Trail? Yes. There was a bridge in uh, Yankton Trail. I'm not sure which bridge it was. Uh, the other was some signs in Spencer Park. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.